Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at web map. Now I know I am supposed to upload the CTF challenge today and that video will be coming shortly after this. And the reason I wanted to cover this video first is because again I wanted to go over the web map tool and that's because I am going to be using it in the next CTF challenge just to show you how important it can be. Alright, so without any further again, alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you might be asking yourself is what exact, exactly is web map? And uh, all credits go to the author reverse security. Uh, the GitHub link will be in the description. Uh, so again, uh, you might be asking yourself, well, what exactly is web map and how can it help us? Or how can it help me as a patient tester? Well, as you can see right over here, it tells you that uh, web map is essentially a web dashboard for your nmap XML reports. So what does that mean? So for those of you who are, who are penetration testers and uh, you have uh, done a few reports, you know that it is vitally important to save your scan results. This is when you're doing uh, what I would say a pro professional uh, penetration test. Now, most of you uh, who actually uh, do hack the box challenges and vulnerable challenges, and you know, usually those CTF challenges go, you know, for days or even weeks on end before you actually find a solution, you need to have a way to save your scans. Now, by default, Nmap already has this functionality. You can output your scan results in the form of uh, a normal file, a text file, and an XML file. The more uh, the more robust of these uh, is the XML file because it allows you to manipulate the, the, your, your results in a form that can be presentable. So usually when generating reports either for a CTF challenge or when you're performing a professional penetration test and you're ready to uh, to essentially display your results to, the, to, to, to whom it matters, then, uh, you know, usually use your XML reports to essentially display uh, what you found during your scans, all that good stuff. I'm not really going to go into that. Although I am, I do want to cover a reporting in terms of penetration testing. It's something I'm really interested in. All right. So you can see that this is a web dashboard for your uh, Nmap uh, XML reports. Now, this does much more than that, as you can see. So if I scroll all the way down, the GitHub repository is extremely comprehensive. In terms of, uh, if, in terms of, uh, how it explains to you how to get it uh, set up and how to get it up and running. So you can see you have your usage. Uh, you can see that it tells you you should use this with Docker. So make sure you have Docker installed on your system. It's really very simple to, to get it installed. You can use your aptitude package manager or you can use the synaptic, uh, the synaptic package manager. All right. So. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, and run it with Docker. It'll give you the instructions right over. You can clone the repository or you can go the dirty route, as you can see right over here, where you get uh, the file and you essentially run it. And that's what I've done. And what it'll do, it'll it'll set the files in your temp folder under web map. And that's very important because I'm going to explain why that uh, why that is very useful. So uh, you can see you can also run it without Docker, uh, although I don't recommend that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and look at the features. So it allows you to import and pass and map XML files. It shows you statistics uh, and charts on discovered services, ports, and operating systems. Uh, it allows you to inspect a single host by clicking on its IP address. So you can run your scans on an entire network. Uh, attaches labels to a host, inserts notes for a specific host, really awesome. Allows you to generate a PDF report with charts, details, labels, and notes. That's excellent. And uh, it allows you to copy to clipboard, uh, you know, such as Nikto, curl, or telnet commands. Uh, you have your CV and exploits based uh, on CP collected by Nmap, so you can run your CV uh, searches for the for the services that you've discovered on your target, which is also uh, what I would say is very light uh, vulnerability analysis. So this is really awesome because it also gives you another uh, another viewing angle or viewpoint in terms when, when it comes down to analyzing your scans. And finally, it has the RESTful API. So I really talked a lot and setting up, uh, setting it up is really easy. You can go ahead and do it uh, directly from Docker so that you can just clone the repository or you can run it quick and dirty. And what that will do is it will essentially, uh, I can just show you what that is going to do. So if I'm to just copy this right over here and um, if I just open up my terminal and I just paste that in there, what you'll see is I already have uh, the web map uh, folder inside my temp folder, and I should have shown you that uh, before we actually get started. Uh, but you can see that uh, web map is already in the container. And uh, what it'll do is once you run it, of course, it's not going to give you this error right over here. Is it's going to uh, it's going to essentially start the interface or the web dashboard on your local host on port eight thousand. 
Now, when I talked about the um, the temp folder the, or the web map folder, that exists in the uh, the temp and web map folder. And in here is where you'll be inserting uh, your XML scans. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a very simple scan. So uh, I'm just going to say nmap. And of course, this is all dependent on you. This is just really a web dashboard uh, when it comes down to your own scans. And as I've mentioned in the next CTF challenge, I'll be using this and I'll show you how, how awesome this uh, this web dashboard is in terms of analyzing your scan results. Now, of course, Zenmap does it as well, but uh, this really does it extremely well. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'll run SV and uh, we'll run also an SC there. Uh, so we can also use the default scripts and I'll run it on one of my Windows operating systems. Not really vulnerable, but I'll run the scan and you can see that uh, I've done something incredibly stupid over there. I have not output the scan results. So uh, what I would recommend is that if you are a penetration tester, always get into the habit of uh, outputting your results. So uh, if you remember uh, the commands for outputting, I don't know whether I've covered them. So we use the output X, which means we're outputting it in the form of an XML, uh, in XML format. So then we specify uh, where we want to save it. So I'm going to say temp and web map, and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name 192.168.1.1. Uh, 103.xml always good to specify the file extension and we hit enter all right so that is going to start the nmap scan and once that is done what i need to do is uh, i essentially need to go to my web uh, to the to the web map uh, dashboard right over here and refresh it and that is going to display all the xml files and we can start analyzing uh, the results from there so while we're waiting for the nmap scan to complete uh, you can see that this is web map 2.1 and this is on the master branch the project is currently in beta so do not expose web map to the internet and this version is not production ready so uh you know kudos to the developer uh reverse security really really awesome tool i will be tweeting it at him because this is really a, a fantastic tool when it comes down to you know your uh your scanning uh, analyzing your scans so uh, let's check if we are done with uh, the nmap scan. Hopefully it is done, but I, yeah, I did use a pretty heavy, I did run a pretty heavy scan on the target. So we'll wait for that to complete. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when the scan is complete. Right. So the scan is complete and as you can see, it was quite a comprehensive scan and it was able to discover quite a, a lot of services. So you can see uh, that I'm running uh, a lot of services. I have my NetBIOS port, uh, HTTP, which is pretty weird, but and I think I know what uh, what that is for. And finally, we have the script results. So it's giving us uh, quite a bit of information. So you know, in terms of this, the SMB OS discovery uh, and map script, you can see that we got our OS right over here. And yeah, so you pretty much get the idea. Nmap is doing all of the work in terms of generating the, rep in, in terms of uh, scanning your target. Uh, and web map is really awesome at displaying them to you or essentially displaying them in a way that you can understand them even more. And again, as I mentioned, perform uh, some very light vulnerability analysis on them. Now, hopefully uh, this will get improved. But again, it's something that I really I find really, really awesome. So I, I just clicked on the target right over there and it gives you uh, the type of scan you performed. As you can see, when you performed it, the type of scan, the scanned protocol, whether it was TCP or UDP, the Nmap commands used, which is awesome. This is really fantastic. And the port status. So you can see we have, uh, all, well, all of the ports that it did scan were open. Uh, we didn't have any filtered ones and we didn't have any closed ones. All right, so in terms of the TCP port services, it also sorts them out in terms of color. So Port 135 is red, port, port 139 is green, and so on and so forth. Now, it comes when it comes down to the um, to the services, you can see that it displays them for you right over here in terms of um, in in terms of how many they are. So uh, for for each of the services, you can see for MSRPC we have two. NetBIOS 1, Microsoft DS 1, and HTTP 1. All right, so it also gives you your OS type list, which is right over here. So it gives us, uh, it sort of guesses uh, as Nmap would have done uh, using the different scripts. That's if you did run a, a, a script, uh, if you did use the Nmap scripting engine for your scan. So it's all dependent on your scans. What I'm what I'm trying to show you here is is how this is uh, how our web map is sorting out your Nmap scans for you. And uh, once you go down right over here, you have your you, you, you can add your notes really. So if I click on actions. Uh, you can essentially insert your notes right over here or, and you can also add labels 
to your target. So for example, if you were, were performing a scan on a network and this machine was extremely vulnerable, you can uh, you essentially add, um, you can add a label uh, or, or called vulnerable right over there. If you had a critical machine, you know, you, you get the idea. So this one is not really vulnerable to anything so far. So I, I'll just hit checked. And yeah, pretty much. So I can just uh, insert my note right over here. And I'm just going to call this my Windows, uh, Windows Workstation. Uh, and I use this for rendering, uh, rendering videos. Uh, whoops, sorry. For rendering videos. And I'm just going to hit save. All right. So that's an example. Now, again, it's going to tell you to reload it. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's how you go about doing that. Now, when it comes down to generating your PDF report, which is really awesome. So uh, you can click on that right over there and I'll show you this in a second. You can also check for CV and exploits dependent on the services that uh, you are able to discover from your scan. So I click on that and it's going to say done. Reload this page by clicking on the reload button. Now, I, I this machine really isn't vulnerable to anything. So it's not going to display anything worthwhile or worthwhile here. So uh, when it comes down to uh, to me using this functionality, I'm going to be doing that in the next video where I'll be using it in a CTF challenge and we'll see if any of the uh, of the services running are vulnerable, which will be really awesome. And then you have your network view, which essentially displays it similar to what you would have uh, with uh, ZenMap where you have the topology. And this is in terms of the ports and you get this really cool animation here where you can essentially just click on the different ports. And again, all that, that, that is really awesome. So if I click right over here on NetBIOS, it gives you the version. Uh, and we click here on, hopefully that opens up. And uh, can I drag these? Excellent. That That is so cool, man. Look at that. All right. So this is really awesome. And I'll get back to that in a second. I really don't want to go into that right now. When it comes down to the PDF report, I can click on that and it's going to start generating the PDF report. And it does this cool thing where it tells you, you know, PDF not ready yet, PDF not ready yet. And this keeps on going until uh, the PDF is ready. So we're just going to wait for that to complete. And once that is done, it's going to do as it just mentioned. It's going to generate a PDF report for you. All right. So we're just going to wait for this to complete. It usually, uh, it usually is able to generate the PDF report right at the bottom uh, over here. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, there we are. It uh, did it earlier. So it keeps on uh, enumerating that message. And here we are. So here's the PDF report. Now, this is really awesome. Uh, I don't know whether uh, the developer of the tool uh, plans to 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 essentially offer right to to essentially offer customization in terms of customizing the logo or if they're going to leave this uh, as it is in terms of branding. So I, I'm really I really don't know that uh, it gives you your scan arguments that you specified. Uh, the scan, uh, wh when the scan was launched or initiated at the scan type and the nmap version you used. And it gives you this little, uh, this little, um, disclaimer right over here, which is really awesome. And uh, you have your ports and services. So it sorts it, uh, it, it sorts it out in terms of your ports and services right over here. And we can go ahead and, and just go through the entire report. And it gives you all this information in terms of the services running on the different ports, et cetera, et cetera. So, Really, really awesome to see this, uh, you know, to, to see this awesome tool being used in such a, in such a great way. And finally, it gives you, uh, the, the last page right over here generated by web map and it has the GitHub link over there. So yeah, I don't mind, uh, branding, uh, you know, it's a really great tool and hopefully we can see a really good, uh, you know, production version of this. Uh, of this system. And of course, you can run uh, as many scans as you want and import them. As I mentioned, just make sure you copy the XML scans into the temp uh, web map folder. Or if you have the directory elsewhere, make sure it is in the web map folder. So yeah, you can import as many scans as you like for as many or as complex a network as you have or as you have scanned for. And, uh, uh, you know, just go ahead and try it and let me know what you think. Uh, I really want to know what you guys think about this and whether or not it helps you. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll be seeing you in the next video with the CTF challenge. And yeah, if you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks on my website. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace, guys.